Hello everybody, I'm Overcord95, and welcome back to Cornucopia Collectibles. We've got some more Funko Mystery Boxes for you today. We've got two Undiscovered Realm $10 Golden Ticketsers that we're going to start first, single pop. Hopefully get some cool stuff in here. We kind of lost where this box went for a little bit, which is why like, I think we had them like maybe even a month ago. We started them, and then we dis they disappeared. That's our bad. our bad. The box got put somewhere we didn't mean it to. Then we've got a Chrono Toys... $100 damage box clearance, so probably I think these are supposed to be slightly overvalued based off PPG, but of course condition takes into effect here. We'll see what they give us. And then finally, from a while ago, we lost this one as well. <laughs> An Undiscovered Realm, uh, two autographed Funko Pops. They were $74.95 each, you know, 75 bucks each. So $150, there's one in here and one on the other side. There's two boxes there. So we'll do those last since signed stuff is really cool. You know I actually really like signed Funko Pops. I have quite a few in my collection, um, but we'll finish off with that. But we'll start with these little two ten dollars here. Maybe we'll get a golden ticket. Maybe we'll get something cool. We have pulled some interesting stuff from these before. Uh, we had a sign Kochi or something like that from the Warriors. I can't remember his name. Um, and then we also pulled the the Sully uh, Mega Grail was through one of these like golden ticket wins. So if the box will open for me, I thought I got all the tape. There we go. I'm going to open it this way. Hopefully it's the right way. Hopefully it's the right way now. Alrighty. No golden ticket. We've got a Rick and Morty pop. I believe this is Queen Summer. I don't watch enough Rick and... I haven't really watched Rick and Morty too much, so I don't know exactly what episode this is from. So, don't know for certain. I know Summer's the older sister. That's about as much as I know. From 2021. I mean, she looks... She looks kind of cool. The, the, the dress is kind of cool and all that. We'll check it out. We'll be right back. Alrighty. Again, uh, since these are $10 boxes, I'm not really expecting a lot. $13 is not bad for a little $10 mystery box. You know, we got more than we, we paid for it. And who knows? Rick and Morty, maybe, you know, there's voice actors involved with that. <laughs> Go get it signed. Alright, next one. Come on, golden ticket. Although, since we won... That, that the big one, the one before, we're, we're way, we have to pay our dues a long time before that'll happen again. Oop, okay. I didn't see who it was, but I saw that was upside down. This looks video gamey. I mean, it kind of is, but it's not. This is a movie, Starship Troopers. I'm assuming this is Ace Levy. Yep, Ace Levy with his hair. It's funny, weirdly enough, his hair looks more straight on the back packaging like it's very thin straight lines and then here where they definitely got it but the side looks clumpy just kind of an interesting little detail difference uh from 2020 pretty cool honestly i don't know enough about the movie honestly i've never actually watched it <laughs> um but we'll check it out and we'll be right back Alrighty, so between the two we broke even. This guy's only worth seven bucks. He is vaulted though so if you're looking to complete it the set and you're missing an ace He's not a bad one to pick up then. You know, not not going to break the bank, but it is going to be a little bit hard for you to find maybe. All right, moving on. We've got the damaged box clearance. Again, if I see anything obvious, I'm going to bring I'm going to show you as best I can. Um with these, if it's minor corner dings, it, I'll mention it, but it's not going to be like, "Oh, look at the tiny." I'm going to try and move along a little bit more with that. But if it's a big crunch on the back, I'm going to try and show you. These were Chrono Toys. I don't know if we've specifically gotten one of their damaged boxes before. I know we've gotten a couple places, but I don't think it was Chrono Toys. It's double boxed, so they at least guarantee that it didn't get damaged on the way here. And this is a good. This is actually the Funko box. It was originally uh, WrestleMania Eddie Guerrero <laughs> with pin. So just can I just get a box of those? Eddie was the man for wrestling. Him and Ray and stuff. Phew. That was stuff I came into near the end, and then he passed soon after we started watching wrestling. And then we watched Ray move on and <laughs> all that stuff. All right. These are tightly packed, though, so no protectors at all. But we will work our way. Weirdly enough, two-thirds of the box is anime. <laughs> Just, I'm, I'm looking at the heads, so, so I'm just going to start from one corner and work my way down, though. We've got a Ronald McDonald. This is the McDonald Thailand Special Edition sticker with him namasteing. 2021, honestly, he's in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of 
like warping on the lid here. Again, it's not going to be able to be seen on camera. It's very, very minor. And honestly, you could even argue that might have been something that happened during manufacturing or even shipping. But other than that, it's straight and clean. Which, given its age, I'm not surprised. But we'll check him out and be right back. Alrighty. Unfortunately, there's a glow chase at this one, of course. Uh, he's worth $14, though. Not a bad little start, considering it's Ronald. <laughs> you know? It's not like it's, you know, something crazy. Alright. Next one up. Shoop. We've got, ooh, this is cool, Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles done in the actual, like, drawing of the original comics with color. PX previews, this isn't old, this is like 2021. 2021, again, not bad overall. I'm seeing very, very minor cornering and a little tiny blip up above my finger there. But honestly, again, when you think damaged box, I think of that one Freddy Funko we got that had the whole back crunched up. This is clean. There's probably going to be one that's in total disrepair that I'm just not seeing. But we'll check this out and be right back. Alrighty. Again, not bad. Wish it was a little bit more, but we're looking at 14 bucks on this. Not too bad. Hopefully there's one big one or something in there that I'm just not seeing yet. I like the design. But the, there's a black and white one, which is the one that's really worth money, of course. Which is the true animated animation, the original drawing design. Alright, next one up. Ooh. This is a GameStop exclusive original, I think. That's what that special season, special edition sticker was. Glow in the Dark, I have one of these in my own collection. <laughs> I guess Karma came back to give us one for <laughs> other usages. I do like this one. His uh, eye and his Chidori, or Raikiri in this case, um, light up really nice. Uh, the, the Raikiri actually holds the charge, but the eye does pop under a black light. It's pretty cool. Uh, Condition-wise, this looks clean. Uh, again, very minor cornering. Um, there's a little tiny cornering. Uh, but again, it's so minor to be considering it damage is kind of a... It's like a 9.4 out of a 10, you know, kind of deal. It, it There's damage, but it's not anything bad. Uh, I have to stunt this one even though I just scanned it. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So, he's still holding pretty good value. Um, but weirdly enough, the non-glow-in-the-dark is worth more. I don't know why. The only thing I can think of is these got out to the market first, and now people are trying to find the non-glows. But 29 bucks for him. Not bad. Alrighty. Next up on the list, we're into the all-anime section of the box now. Including Kakashi. We've got a buffed chopper. It is the shared spring sticker from 2021. Again, nothing major box damage wise. And I will state this, every single one of these I have ever seen has this corner torn. He is so heavy he tears his own box. Like in all seriousness, every single one I've had or I've seen in store has had this tiny little tear on this bottom right corner. I don't know why it happens on that corner, but it does. Other than that, he looks pretty good. I think there's maybe a tiny scuff on the back here. But it's not even like... I wonder if I could get that off with like a like a wet rag. Really cool. We'll check him out. I don't know where he's sitting anymore. I know he was hot for when he first came out. But I think he's cooled a little bit. So we'll see where he's at and be right back. Alrighty. This is this might be our best one. I'm not going to say that for certain because there's still two more in the box. But we're looking at 47 bucks for this guy. With this sticker. There's a more valuable set of stickers. Obviously the actual con sticker... And then there's one for the Wii Play share it sticker combo. But this one is 47 bucks. I'm super happy. Again, every single sing one I've ever seen has that little corner tear. So I'm not even upset about that. All right. Second to last one. We've got a All Might with his umbrella and a bag of treats or whatever it was from 2021 Fall Convention. So we are getting some convention stuff. Okay, this one has the most damage I've seen. There's a little bit of rippling right on this corner. So it at some point took a smack like that and just kind of pushed that in and rippled it a bit. But again, if that's what they're considering damage, I will take a box of these like this all day. Like, this has not been bad at all considering we, it's a damage box. Again, you expect it to come and this entire back is like warped. This is really good. We'll check it out and we'll be right back. Alrighty, not too bad for the big-headed L might here. Uh, we're looking at 21 bucks for the Fall Convention sticker. Not bad at all. The, the anime ones are definitely bringing us back up, you know. We got one last one. Did I save the best for last? Probably not, but I don't know. Whoop. 
Shinra with fire overseas special edition sticker and a glow in the dark. It's probably his feet where the flames are, I'm assuming. Maybe his eyes, but the reds don't always glow well. Because I've had the I had the Kawaki Naruto where he's supposed to have the red glows on his face. Doesn't glow. It's supposed to be with natural light or something. Yeah, whatever. Uh little bit of warping on top here. Somebody pushed down too hard when they were putting it back in, probably. Kind of tore and curved a little bit. Again, not overly bad. That might deduct a dollar or two off of value. But even then, I put everything in a protector. So you're not going to notice that. Uh, we'll check it out and be right back. And I will try to get a photo of the glow for you guys. Alrighty. Uh... Not bad, actually. Pretty good one to finish with. So, right now, there's only a price for the original sticker, which is Box Lunch. It's 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 a 2021 production sticker, but it probably didn't get released till this year. So, but we're looking at 44 bucks for this right now. Again, the condition might drop it down a little bit, because I am seeing a little bit of scuffage on top here now, too, on the front here. Um, but honestly, not bad for, for what we consider the damage over box. If this is the worst condition, I'll happily take that. So for $100, we're looking at $169 in value. And honestly, we got some really cool stuff. I'm really happy with that. Some really cool anime things. And honestly, I've seen much worse condition out of a damage box. I will happily take that all day. All right. Finally, what I've been waiting for. Maybe you haven't, but I have been. <laughs> Two signed... Funko Pops, don't know who, it could be anybody, it could be anime, it could be voice actor, it could be horror, it could be Marty McFly, it could be Christopher Lloyd, it could be Elvira, it could be Mel Brooks, although I don't think there's any Funko Pops of Mel Brooks, there should be, I think he would actually get a kick out of that, especially with the Spaceball things, I know he couldn't make the Spaceball ones, but you could make <laughs> uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights, those would be cool, alrighty. But let's, I'm going to just start with this one with the sticker on it and work our way around. we got two of them. Obviously, I'll be having slightly longer uh, breaks in between that I'll be editing out that you won't see. For me hunting down who signed it and probably eBay if they don't have a PPG. Sometimes signed stuff has PPG. Sometimes it doesn't. All right. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, I recognize that hair. Is this seriously... Ho, 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 ho. So that is a cool one. I, if that is signed by his voice actor, which I'm sure it is, that is Luffy. Luffy, Luffy Taro is his Wano name that he gives himself to kind of disguise who he is during the arc. His, the voice actor for, that's the main character of the show. I mean, his whole crew is the main, but he's the main character. And if you're reading the manga, a lot of stuff has been going on. If you're watching the anime, I'm sorry about the delay. <laughs> this is awesome. I can't name the voice actor off the top of my head, but I will look that up. I will let you know. You probably already know if you know about this. And we will be right back with a value and who that is. Alrighty. Pretty cool. So this is Colleen uh, Clinkenbeard. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. She's got a really long last name. Um... Selling on eBay sold with this exact signature, JSA, all that stuff, for $90. Nothing crazy, but honestly really cool. Um, her, her, some of her stuff has gone for more, but that's because of the figure it's on. But really cool there. All right. Come on, number two. We're definitely up, but I would love to get a 100-plus signature. We've, ha we've had luck like that before, but there's no guarantee. We might be just be guaranteeing ourselves some really cool signs. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We've got an All Might. Ha ha, young Midoriya. Uh, All Might, probably. Oh, now I'm forgetting on the name. I know who does this too, and I can't remember. That's a cool one too because that's the mentor, and it does have Smash on there, which is his uh, one of his uh, signature phrases. Because all of his attacks are state smashes. So he has like a Texas smash and a Delaware smash and a Detroit smash. And then his final attack is the United States of smash. That would have been cool. But smash is really nice. We'll look it up. I'll get the exact name for this guy and we'll get you a value. I'm really happy about that. Two anime signs are always cool for me. We'll be right back though. Alrighty. It is Christopher Sabat's signature, which I knew off the top of my... I knew, but I couldn't remember the name. Um, once I said it, I recognized it immediately. Um... There's a range on this. He's been as low as mid-80s, as high as 130. 
So we're going to say right around the 90 range because we've seen a couple in that spot with the smash. Nothing super crazy. We didn't break a $100 sign pop, but I'm not unhappy with this at all. We're looking at, for the $150, we are looking at $180. In total, we paid $270 for everything. We're looking at $369. Not bad at all. We got some really cool stuff. I absolutely love these two signs because one is the main character of the show. The other is the uh, mentor to the main character in his show and a very, par very big part of the show in general. So really cool ones. It's not like it's some third, you know, fourth string character that has just happens to have a Funko Pop. I think anime stole the show here for sure with all the stuff. Even in the damage boxes, we just got so much anime goodness to carry us over and into some really cool stuff. Uh, personally, my favorite is probably got to be the Luffy just because key main character in a and honestly in a cool design form. I really like it. Overall, my favorite. Let me know what yours was for sure. Uh, make sure you check out the links below. Again, we sell on whatnot pretty regularly. We have a show a week now on Thursdays, one week, and then Tuesdays the next week, and back and forth and back and forth. So make sure you're checking out for that if you're looking for Funkos or just any other stuff we might be selling. Um, make sure you're checking the Shopify page. We're going to be putting more stuff on there real soon. Lots of stuff to come. Um, but make sure you're just checking all that stuff out because when we go do things, we try to post out about it. But regardless... Good luck hunting out there, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!